Spring is an incredible time to step back and to inventory how we're physically feeling, how we're emotionally feeling, and just how we're feeling about our life choices in general. A lot of us don't think about what our life is, is coming from the choices that we're making and what we're physically and emotionally feeling oftentimes comes from the choices that we're making, whether it's who we choose to spend time with, what we do for work, where we live, our community, what we choose to eat, how we choose to be in life. A lot of us aren't even thinking about that. As a medical intuitive, I get phone calls from people all around the world and I like to simplify healing as much as possible. Our bodies are just relating to the choices that we're making. And the more that we understand that, for the most part, the more our health and our joy will increase simultaneously. So being springtime, this is a wonderful time to reevaluate your choices, to reevaluate how you're feeling in your life, and to ask an important question of, what can I do differently to feel better? What can I do differently to get better, a better experience for myself? Why? Because that's what you get to do. You're a beautiful human living this beautiful life and you get to make choices that feel great to you. And if they don't, you can make new choices, you can make new changes, and you can move forward in life in a different way. That's what healing is all about. Healing is about reclaiming joy. Healing is about creating what it is you want to experience in this beautiful life you've been given to live. It's you, it's your focus, and where do you wanna start? So make sure to stop and to ask questions. Make sure you ask yourself, so how am I feeling about my life? How am I physically feeling? Is there anything I can do to make a difference? Is there anything that I can do to make a better experience for myself? Then listen for an answer. Most of us ask questions and we're so busy and we're so preoccupied, we forget to ask and listen. We might ask, maybe, but most of us reach this point where we just go flatline and we forget to even ask. We think this is how it needs to be or it has to be. We're exhausted, we don't feel good, we don't have the energy to make changes. So this is the thing. In this particular spring, it's a beautiful opportunity to inquire within, to ask yourself how it is you can create more joy for yourself. Are there changes that you can make? Are there things you can enhance in your life? Are there priorities you can make that you haven't been making a priority? For example, if you want to experience more energy in your body, how are you eating? Are you eating foods that will create more energy? Do you even know what that means? The foods that are closest in nature, lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, whole proteins, those things are so amazing at helping supply energy to our, our system. Drinking enough water, getting enough rest, the basic things to be able to work with can create such a dynamic change for us. In our lifestyle, think about the things that you choose to spend your time doing. You might think, I don't have time to make a change. I don't have time to do this. I would highly recommend you pay attention to how much time you're spending on social media and on your phone and texting. Texting conversations take a lot longer than picking up the phone to chat. Mindlessly scrolling around when we can be doing something else is a very common thing that happens that can occupy up to a 40 hour time frame, if not more for most people in a given month. That's a lot of time. I hear so often, I don't have enough of this, I don't have enough of that, I don't have enough time, I don't have enough energy, I don't have this, I don't have that. And the thing that I would highly recommend for this particular spring is taking an inventory and choosing to make one choice and commit to it. If it's drinking water, if it's choosing to make a plan with a girlfriend or a guy friend that you have that will create a lot of joy for you, that you choose to make joy a priority, that you choose to make physical energy a priority. And whatever you do, please do not surrender to the fact that you feel like this and it has to be this way. It is not the case by any means. And you don't have to feel this way. You can change and you can have energy and you can have vitality and you have creativity and you can have hope. 
And that's the most amazing piece is giving yourself permission to reclaim all of that as you can. So I think the more that you give yourself permission to explore, the more you give yourself permission to think and consider instead of just being on autopilot, asking questions, listening for the answers. And then if your answer to the answers, I can't do that. I don't have the time. I, I can't do that, period. I, I just can't. I'm going to invite you to stop and take a breath and be curious about how you might be able to incorporate whatever change is or whatever idea is or whatever habit comes up to be able to support you to feel better because you deserve to feel better. You deserve to feel high energy, creative, connected, inspired, all kinds of awesome things. And when we surrender to anything other than that, it's such a bummer because days in our life, years in our life, for some of us, it's decades of our lives, have passed without connecting to true joy, and it's simply unnecessary. How we eat affects how we emotionally feel. How we eat affects how we physically feel. And the more that we allow ourselves to tune in, the better it's going to be, the more connected it's going to be, the more empowered we're going to feel, and the more we're going to understand where we put our time, where we put our energy, is how we're going to physically feel and it's going to create the life that we're currently living. It is so important to understand that. It's not like this just dropped in your lap. This is from choices that you've actually made and change and spring are an awesome time to think about how you might wanna to change to create a better experience for yourself. What habit would you want to increase or support yourself with to have a better experience for yourself? It's a powerful thing to think about. Welcome spring on, pull the positive energy of change. Let's see what comes up and share below if you can so that we can support you in this awesome journey of healing. You are amazing.